Okay, in an earlier video, we looked at MoGraph. We looked at it specifically for text, but MoGraph can also be used for animating elements in, uh, in Cinema 4D. So what I want to take a look at in this video is creating multiple elements and then using MoGraph to affect those elements in animation. One thing that Cinema 4D Lite doesn't have is any kind of generators. Cinema 4D, the full version, has generators that can replicate very quickly our cloner objects that can clone objects and create multiple sets. So I will have to do a little legwork here to create some objects and then get them going. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sphere and I'm going to ramp up the number of segments to make it a little cleaner and I'll make it a lot smaller. Then I need multiple of these so I'm going to go into the top view and I'm going to use the command key to click and drag to create copies and I'll create at least uh, six copies and once you have a few copies you can select them all and then hold down the command key and click and drag to create other versions and then from there I'll create a grid I'm going to zoom out a little bit and create a grid of these objects again holding down the command key clicking dragging create a whole series of objects and noticing that I'm using the grid lines here to get them onto the grid. I'm just selecting multiple objects now just using the grid to uh, create them. Then I'll go back into my perspective view and you have something like this where you have a bunch of different spheres. Um, I'll create a quick material to put on that and with this new material, what I'll do is I will load in the reflectance. I'll just add in one of these. And then I should be able to select all these objects in the object manager. And just, uh, well, I can copy. I should be able to copy. Yeah, holding down the control key. I can copy the material to the layers in sequence. And it, this would go a lot faster in Cinema 4D, the full version, because they have cloners. Once you have a cloned object, it will just populate all the changes from that one object that you're working with to the other objects. But we don't have the full version with uh, After Effects out of the box. The new version of After Effects, After Effects 2020, allows you to mess around with the full version in a trial mode. And I think Maxon's doing that to introduce the full power of its uh, tool and to kind of promote sales on that tool. One thing that Maxon just recently did was it combined all of its versions. It had multiple versions of Cinema 4D. It had a studio version. It had a cinema version, all these different versions. And with the 2020 release, they decided to combine them all together. So all the effects, all the tools, everything is all combined under one tool now. Okay. So I have all these objects and I'm going to add a fracture object so that I can start working with MoGraph. And I'll just put all these objects into the fracture, fracture object. And with the fragile object selected, I'm going to explode segments and connect. It's one thing that's necessary um, when you're working with MoGraph is to explode the segments first. Then we need an effector. And so under the fracture object is the plane effector and the random effector. I'll just choose the plane effector here. And notice that everything shifted up slightly. So looking at the plane effector, I'll just slide the plane effector in here. It doesn't have to be inside, but I'll just put it inside here. And you'll see here that the, the main feature that we want to get to is the fall off. Now in Cinema 4D Lite, the um, 2019 version, the fall off is controlled by um, a, a set of drop downs. But now with this new version, we have all of these fields. There's a linear field, radial field, spherical, cylindrical, all these different fields. And a field is, if you think about it, a field is a, a specific shape that's going to affect um, what the MoGraph tool is doing over time. 
So if I add, let's say that I add this linear field here, the linear field is this visual box. You can see it here. And as I move the box, you see how it's affecting all of our models. Okay, so this is what we saw essentially when we did MoGraph with text. Same basic idea. Now the thing with this, this field is that I've only added one field and it has a length and it has a direction. And but you can add more than one field. So if I go back here and let's say I add a spherical field, um, you can add that too. And that in addition to the field, the linear field that I have can affect the animation. So maybe this field comes in from here and then the linear field comes in from this side and that way we can do multiple animations in MoGraph on all these objects. So the other thing that happens with the fields is that they don't stay in the falloff tab here. The fields get added to the object manager so it's much easier to find them, it's much easier to select them and to do things with them. So for the linear field here, um, I have the linear field selected and what I want to do is I want, yeah, that's just affecting that. What I want to do is I want to send these balls further off and there's some settings here for strength. Yeah, here we go. And that will change that curve. And then the inner offset. And then the min max. And then the direction. In the spherical field, I want to change that also. I want to increase the diameter of that. So you can see here, I can really increase it. So that way, when it comes over, it's going to affect those objects as it's traveling. So now in the timeline, if I have my field selected, um, so for the coordinates, I'll just use the auto keyframing, record active objects. So then I will go, let's say, to frame 60, and I will send this object through all of these objects. So this is the spherical. And I'll just click on that record keyframes option. I'll go back to the first frame. I'll do something similar with the linear field. I'm going to click the key to set up the keyframing. Go to frame 60 and send this field. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to send it all the way across like this. Okay. So now if we go through the timeline and I play through this. We'll see what happens as these things move. I forgot to key the um, the linear field, so I have to go back. And it's with this linear field selected, I have to pull it through. There we go. And I always forget to do this, I have to key it. So make sure you click that key. Now we can see the animation come through. And you can see that with all these um, these reflectance materials on all these, that looks pretty cool. But uh, this reflectance material on all these objects is rendering pretty slow. It's, so it's going to render pretty slow when, I, when it comes to animating those. But just want to show you in this video that MoGraph, the new features in MoGraph, the fields, and the fields can, can be combined. And I also wanted to show you that the MoGraph isn't just for text, it can also be used for object as well.